All right, hi guys, welcome back to the Needy Homesteader. I'm gonna break this into two videos, I think. That way, if you're interested in one over the other, it'll be easier to find um, when it's time to come looking in the search for them come a year from now. So the first thing that we're gonna do, I think, I think we're gonna do the, um, the apple cider jelly. So there's that. And then this is the pear. And I'm going to finish getting set up. I've got everything washed. I got my water bath canner going. And um, all right, let's get to it. Okay, so today we are going to be canning apple cider jelly. Um, in here is 12 cups of cold water. Uh, about 10 to 12 Honeycrisp apples, um, around 8 to 10 cinnamon sticks, along with um, some ground clove, and that's it. I've been slow cooking this um, for about, uh, I want to say about 30, maybe 30 hours. It's been over 24, that's for sure. So, um... We're not going to stir it too much because I want to keep it from being cloudy. But what we're going to do is we're going to get a pot and we're going to strain this with some cheesecloth. Okay, so what I have in my sink is a pot along with a strainer and we're going to do cheesecloth. I will leave a link down below to the cheesecloth that I use. What I'm doing is I'm keeping it double layered, okay? Okay, and now I've got my pot here, and now we're just going to strain this. Now I'm not going to dump it all in there because, like I said, we want to disturb it as little as possible because we don't want our jelly to be super cloudy is what will happen so we need at least six cups if we get more than that we can make a second batch you don't want to ever double batch when you're canning jelly because you know say say I get 12 I don't want to do 12 I want to do them in six cup batches because um, it can mess with your pectin and your set so jelly is one of those things you just you know here in michigan today it is storming out we're about to get actually a severe storm moving in right now and so i've got the candles lit and the fans going and it's just uh fall is in the air and this apple cider jelly smells phenomenal. So as I continue to do this, when I'm all done, I'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so when you're all done, you're going to get something that looks sort of like that. Okay, and then it will be cloudy unless you don't care. If you don't care, then push away. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's always going to be a little cloudy anyway because, you know, it's like apple cider, but I'm going to go ahead and show that to you. Just like that. All right. Now I'm going to measure this out and get it on the okay. Now with a clean measuring glass, I'm going to measure out six cups. And there's six. And then I definitely am going to have enough to do a second batch. So that's exciting. So here I have six cups of sugar measured out and what I'm going to do, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a quarter cup of sugar out of that six cups, I'm just going to put it in a bowl and then tip 
typically I would add three tablespoons of pectin to this. Slide that over so you guys can see. Um, this is my pectin. Uh, but my pectin, <laughs> she's been sitting a while. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add four tablespoons. So if you have fresh pectin, you might only want to add three. But I'm going to add four because mine is a bit old. <laughs> so then with that, I'm just going to go ahead and mix that around. Okay, so now that we're back here, and sorry for any reflections, that's just a reflection. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to take that quarter cup of sugar with the, for me, four tablespoons, but for you it'll probably be three, and I'm just going to go ahead and evenly sprinkle that about. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and turn this on, like a medium heat. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and just give that a good mix. And what we're gonna do is we're going to bring this up to a boil. In the meantime, it is really coming down out there. <laughs> Perfect day for canning. I've got this now coming to a boil, so I'm going to crank that down. I do have my jars in here, so it'll be nice and sterilized. Ooh, I'm saving you up. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, there you go. There you go. And so, just so you know, too, I went ahead and I... Let's see if I can get you refocused here. Okay, just so that you know, I went ahead and I cleaned out my cheesecloth. I will be using this on the next jelly. And then I've got what's left of what I cooked down in here. <laughs> Can't really use that for anything. Um, so, uh, but it did its job. And now I'm just gonna wait for this to come to a boil over here as I Listen to the thunderstorm outside. Okay, so I'm just waiting for this to come up to a boil, and when it does, we can add the remaining five and three quarter cups of sugar to it. You want to make sure that you just keep stirring this so that everything is dissolved, that pectin is dissolved, and it heats up nice and evenly. When we get it to boiling, we're going to go ahead and add our sugar. Now I'm doing it this way because <laughs> my I don't trust my wrists. <laughs> so, until the bowl gets a little bit lighter for me here. And then, go ahead and pour the rest in here like that. Okay. Once we got that going, I'm going to go ahead and go back to... Getting that sugar dissolved and bringing this up to a boil once again. Once this starts boiling, I'm just going to add a little pat of butter to it. And that'll help with the foam. You can also scrape off the foam. Some people leave the foam. And so as this now comes to a boil, we're going to hard boil this. I'm going to go ahead and hard boil it for two minutes. You might want to just do a minute. I'm kind of pivoting a little bit just because I'm um, using older pectin. So, all right, so that's a hard boil that you cannot stir down, okay? And so, set your timer for a minute or for me, two minutes, 
and we are just going to keep stirring, 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 stirring here. Okay, the key is keep stirring. Keep stirring. Now that timer is going to go off. I'm just going to crank down the heat just a little bit. And I'm going to run and get my spoon. Now I always keep about five or six in my freezer so I can test the set and I am looking to see how it's going to run off of that spoon and if it's going to gel up. And if I want it a little thicker, which I think I do, this is a great time too to taste. <laughs> I'm going to set this timer for another minute. And keep on stirring. Now sometimes, and I'm just going to show you this, see if you can see this. You can sometimes see how it's going to set by how it drips off your whisk. And you can start seeing it gel up. So we are just about there. This is going to be three minutes. And then we'll be ready to get this canned in jars. So I'm going to remove it from the heat. Stick this in there for the next batch. Then I'm going to get you set up and we're going to get this canned. Right. So let's get this canned up here. I'm going to take my lid off. Get my tools out. Make sure you wash everything. Give everything a, a nice scrub. <laughs> um, just to make sure everything's neat. I have my funnel. Here I have my pot with my lids in. I have my rings up to the side. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and pull these jars out of this hot canner. Pour the water out of them. And I like to have two so that I have somewhere to put my sticky funnel. Just helps keep my work area a little cleaner. Okay. So, there we go. All right. Now, and I really should, I really should scoot this down closer to the, closer to the, well, maybe what we'll do is we'll bring the pot over. Okay, hold on. I'll bring my vinegar over here, and that will work much better. Okay, that's a hot jar, so be careful. Okay, so here's my setup. So I've got my jars there, okay? All right. I think you can see. I think you can see. I hope you can see. Okay. We're going to fill these to a quarter inch head space. I use vinegar, especially with anything sticky like jelly, because you do not want any of that preventing your lid from sealing. Okay. This is really hot, so fingertip tight. Okay, and there's a jar without tipping it. <laughs> All right, now gently set that in the canner. As I get out another jar, make sure that when they sit in the canner, they don't fall over, okay? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna split the that up. We're going to do this one here. Oh, it smells so good. Okay. 
quarter inch. Fingertip tight, and in the canner it goes. Okay, bring out another jar. All right, I'm going to keep going here and get these jars all loaded. And then I'll bring you back. Once this comes to a rolling boil, we're, we're going to process it for 10 minutes, shut the canner off, take off the lid, let it sit for 5 minutes, and then bring them up. Okay, so my timer is going off. Hopefully you guys can hear me. Let's turn that off. I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to go ahead and remove the lid. And let this just kind of cool down for a few minutes. I'm going to set my timer for five minutes and then we will get these pretties out of the canner and we'll get to round two which I'm going to start. I'm going to start right now. All right let's get these out of the canner. Okay. I'm just going to set them up on my butcher block. It would help if I put them in view, huh? <laughs> and let them cool here. Um, put it there. Because I've got a second batch of this, and then we're going to do the pear. And that'll be at least two batches for that. So, we canning up a storm today. Candy Queen's favorite sound. Don't worry about the water on the lids. It will evaporate. So make sure you take your jars out straight up don't tilt them okay and there you have it <laughs> look at that all right let's pull you down here and show you how beautiful right Oh, oh, so good. So, I got eight. I'm hoping I can get eight more. I also have, um, oh, about a half of a jar that I'm not going to process. 
Um, I'm just going to put this in the fridge and let that set. And the kids can eat that tomorrow with bagels and cream cheese. And that's it. All right, you guys. I'm going to keep going here, get the other batch going of the apple cider jelly, and then we'll be on to the um, bourbon vanilla maple pear jelly. And I'll be filming that too. So um, I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, leave them down below for me. I will try my very best to answer them for you. Happy canning, you guys. Making your own cider. You don't need bottled juice. You don't need to go buy expensive cider. Make it yourself. Just let it cook for at least 24 hours to just kind of cook down and get all that flavor in. Try not to squeeze out anything. Um... That's how you're left with these really beautiful gem <laughs> looking jars that aren't cloudy, okay? Those are the tricks. All right, I love you guys and I will see you soon. Bye.